Hey everyone, I'm Rod and Todd, a professional YouTuber who makes professional videos. And it's Tuesday, which means it's time for another Transformer review. So, here we go. This is WFC S9 Hound. He was released in the deluxe size class as part of Wave 1 of the War for Cybertron Siege toy line. As always, let's start with the vehicle mode. Hound's vehicle mode is actually really cool. So as with every single uh, figure in Siege, barring some, of course, uh, Hound's alternate mode is supposed to be a Cybertronian or alien version of the original Generation 1 character's classic alternate mode. The original Hound turned into an army jeep, and whereas with a lot of figures in this line you can see the inspiration from the original alternate mode, this one's a bit different. And I actually really like this. It's basically like some armored truck van thing. Uh, it's got four rolling wheels so you can roll out to fight some Decepticons. Autobot symbol right there on the hood as well as a golden star. It has this like roll cage roll bar thing on the top with a transparent window right there. And no roof. You can see these silver things, they kind of look like seats. I don't really think that's what they're supposed to be, though. No side windows or doors or whatever. On the back here, he has this little indent, which you can store one of his accessories on. And I think this is a really clever way of attaching one of its accessories. It just kind of hangs out there in the back of the truck. He has a bunch of holes all over his body, or not body, but a vehicle mode body that can hold his guns. So you have one on this side here, one here, one here, and then uh, one up here, and then another one up on the roof. And then on the other side, it's the same here, up there, and right there. So, yeah, I actually do really like this just because it looks kind of menacing. Like, if you were to see this driving down the street, you would think it looks cool, right? It just kind of looks like a military vehicle, and that's what I like about it. It just works. Part of my review space is coming up. Oh, no. Anyway, uh... Yeah, he also has hard points or little pegs on the vehicle mode as you can mount the little blast effect pieces. I got this one here because it looks like an explosion. So you can mount it on the front and it kind of looks like he just got hit with something. Uh, see, looking around, I don't really see any others on the actual vehicle mode. There'll be more in his robot mode. And we'll get to that soon. But that's pretty much all I have to say about the vehicle mode. I think it's awesome. It's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so now let's move on to the packaging. So here is the box. The box, uh, it's just the standard deluxe class box. So on the front here has the Siege logo, the Transformers logo. Uh, Hasbro, the car logo, little hang tag up there, and uh, it says Autobot Hound right there. On the inside, there's supposed to be a clear plastic tray that holds the figure, but on a few of these, they're missing the clear plastic tray because for some reason when I was collecting Siege, I started throwing those out but keeping the box. But then about halfway through Siege, uh, I actually started keeping the plastic trays. So some of these are missing the plastic trays, and some of them are just one of the ones that's missing them. It has the little rank insignia uh, on the back of the box there, or on the back of the inside of the box. And, uh, yeah, I don't really know what each ranks, uh, rank insignia corresponds to, but I do know it's supposed to mean something, and it's there. So, yeah. It has the standard Siege mural. Uh, I'm not going to be going over this in in this video because it's the same on every single box. 
and I already went over a side swipe review, so you can either pause and take a look here, or you can watch the side swipe review where I actually go in depth. So on the back here, there's a picture of the robot mode and the vehicle mode, and you can see it transforms from that to that in 14 steps. It has a cross cell for the Battlemaster's Lionizer and Blowpipe, I've already reviewed those guys, and has a picture of Hound holding Lionizer in his sword mode. We will be pairing those two up later in the video. Uh, yeah, it also says choose weapons loadout. It has a picture of the guys here. Anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, onto this side, we have the package art. And every single siege box has unique packaging art. And I think these look really good, so... Yeah, it's a primary reason why I actually keep these boxes. I just like the art on the side. And, uh, yeah, so here's a picture of Helen in his robot mode. It looks like he's pointing somewhere. Maybe he's, like, giving orders to fellow Autobots or something. I don't know. And on the top, got the Autobot symbol and the War for Cybertron trilogy logo. Legal information on the bottom and uh, a lot of languages made in Vietnam. Uh, so anyway, that's an extensive look at the packaging. So, with that out of the way, let's move on to the robot mode. So, here's Hound in his robot mode. Uh, yeah, so let's start by taking a look at the articulation. He has a bone joint in his head, so he can look up and down slightly. It's barely noticeable, but you can see it's moving. And then, side to side. His universal joints in his shoulders, so he can move his shoulder out and all the way around. I can stop my hand getting in the way. Bend at the elbow, a swivel at the elbow, so he can move all the way around. Wrist swivels, so he can move his fist all around. A waist swivel, so you can swivel him at the waist. Universal joint at the thigh, so it can move out, so it's forward and back. Bend at the knee, and as with every Siege, in fact, not just Siege, but War for Cybertron trilogy figure, sideways ankle articulation, which this is if your figure can't stand flat or if you're really into posing. If I can get him to. Ah, this, is, this isn't going well. You kind of have him with his legs splayed out a bit, and he'll stand flat, and it, it it works. It's really great if you're into posing your Transformers figures. I'm not really, but that's cool. And of course, let me adjust the, that so we can uh, stand a bit better. His figures, yeah. So anyway, uh, let's take a look at his accessories. So Hound comes with three accessories. You already saw them when I talked about the vehicle mode, but here's a more in-depth look. So his first accessory is this rifle here. It's black with a bit of silver paint on the barrel and in the middle here. And the instructions call this the W5 Hollow Beam Refraction Blaster. Uh, the next accessory is this circle. And this is basically supposed to be an ammo clip that attaches into the gun. There's these little holes in the gun. There's a tab here. And it should just connect to the side of the gun. You can attach to either side. However, for some reason, mine doesn't really like to stay in the right side very well. Falls out. I don't know why my hands are suddenly covering up everything, but uh, yeah, it just falls out pretty easily. But on the left side, Oh, well, not the left side, but when I'm holding it this direction, it's the right side. But Okay, that falls out pretty easily, too. But it has a, a stronger connection on this side, at least on mine. So, you can just put that in his hand. And he's got this gun with an ammo clip, which, that's pretty cool. His next weapon, or accessory, is this tiny little gun called the RT-10 IR Electroscope Launcher. 
And it's this small little pistol. It's actually pretty good paint apps. It's primarily green, but it's got a silver barrel there, and it's got this little bronzish stripe on the either side. And you can fit that in his other hand. You've got this tiny pistol. He also has these holes in his shoulder, which you can mount either weapon on. And when I display my hound, I like to have the tiny gun on his shoulder. I just think that looks kind of cool. And the original hound had a shoulder launcher, so there you go. And as with every weapon in Siege, it can accommodate the little blast effect pieces. So you can mount it on the end of there. It looks like it's shooting. And this one, it doesn't have the little points, but with some of these weapons, it's just a hole. And it can just kind of be shoved in there and it fits. So there you go. It looks like it's shooting. And if you hear some engine noise uh, in the background, some jerk is revving his motor at the intersection. That's right next to where I live. Because I live in one of those neighborhoods where everyone feels the need to go 70 down a 30 mile road. <laughs> anyway. Uh... Yeah, so that's really all he has in terms of accessories. Of course, his fists can fit any siege weapon, including a battle master like Lionizer here. In fact, I actually do primarily display my hound figure holding Lionizer. I don't really know why I pair those two up. It just kind of happened. So he's got a gun in one hand, a gun on the shoulder, and he has a big sword. He actually does have a lot of really cool paint apps, including the silver stars on either shoulder. Of course, he uh, has the gold star here, but it's covered up by the gun. Autobot symbol on the uh, uh, there. And as with a lot of the earlier Siege figures, he has this really cool battle damaged paint, which is basically just like some silver paint. Can't really see it too well, but there's some there. There's a bit actually on his chest. You can't really see it. You can kind of you can kind of see where it's like shiny and reflective right there. It's there, and then uh, yeah, but it's primarily on his legs. And I actually do really like the battle damage because this is supposed to be like hound during the Cybertronian War, so it makes sense why you would have that. And of course, as with every Sage figure, he also has holes all over his body. Which can accommodate his weapons. So that if you really want to mount them on his arms. He's got two on either arm. Got one on either leg there, at least on the sides, two in the front. Uh, and then he has the two on his shoulder. Got the back hole so he can accommodate guys like Cog. And he also has two holes in his feet, which again is for like Cog and stuff, so if you turn him into the backpack mode it'll hold it. I'm not going to show that off here, but yeah, you can do that. Anyway, uh, um, yeah, that's pretty much everything. I also have to mention the uh, hard points, so again, you can attach the explosion effect on his chest. There's also one on either shoulder, but given how this thing is kind of big, I don't think I'm going to be able to use a big explosion. You can use blow pipes, little accessory, or really any of these little blast effect parts. And then he also has one right here on his leg. Let's see if I can attach the explosion one. Bam, so he just took a leg shot. And I think that's all of them. Yeah, that's all of them. Actually, it looks like there's one right there. I don't know if that's just sculpting, or is that the uh, no, turns out there's actually this one here. <laughs> I don't know if that's just sculpting or if that's intentional or not, but yeah, it can fit it on there. Kind of loosely, but it fits on there. So anyway, that's the basic overview of Hound. Uh, final thoughts. Uh, really awesome vehicle mode, really awesome robot mode. I like both the both forms of this guy. In fact, when Hasbro had a fan poll to vote for who the best Siege toy released was, I actually voted for Hound. I think this toy is amazing. 
I don't even know why. I just think it's really cool. So anyway, that's my review of Hound. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, subscribe, notifications, all that good stuff. And uh, this has been Ron Todd signing off.